Hello everyone! Thank y'all for joining me today on my channel. Today we are going to be talking about lash shampoo. We are going to actually, I'm going to show y'all how to make your own lash shampoo kits for your clients if you are a lash artist or also if you're just in the beauty industry. Um, having lash extension shampoo, ah! Sorry, I didn't take these plastic things off of the bottles. Um, anyways, having lash shampoos, <laughs> having lash shampoo kits, cleanser kits available for clients and even like just lash clients. Um, there's a lot of times where I am out of shampoo just because it always goes so fast. And um, I'm always having to refer my clients to other lash artists or anyone that I could think of that has any lash shampoo on hand. Because most of the time, if not, you're going to you have you're gonna have to go to Amazon and order you one, take a couple of days before it gets to you. So um, if you are on here with me, thank you. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and also leave any comments or any questions that you have below. Um, I love to help out all the time, so if it's something where you have or a question or a comment, please let me know. And if you also want to see any type of tutorial or anything specific from me, please let me know because I'm super open to always making different kinds of content. I'm slowly starting to grow on here, um, but kind of just starting to to show y'all kind of like the ins and outs of lashing and uh, kits and stuff that you need to kind of help your business grow. So um, I got this lash shampoo bottle from Amazon. It is a super big jug. Uh, I want to say it's about 120 to 160 dollars. Um, but as you can see, it's very big, so I think this is gonna gonna be really good and last me for a while. Um, I will see though. And then I also got. Um, shampoo bottles. I kind of got a little bundle kit from Amazon um, just because sometimes I order too much and then my clients don't end up needing it and then sometimes I order too, too little and then I end up needing more. So I just kind of give me a bundle that kind of like I know what size I'm going to need for however many you know clients I'm having to fulfill the lash shampoo order, orders for. Um, but yeah, no, the reason why it is important to have cleanser kits available to your lash clients is because you know as a lash artist we stress the importance of cleansing your lashes every single day whether you are wearing makeup or not because I have a lot of times some of the girls ask me well I don't wear eye makeup that much I don't really you know do anything on my face even moisturize or anything like that it does not matter you need to cleanse daily if not every other day because we have oil makeup buildup um, sweat all kinds of stuff on our face just like how we wash our hair with hair shampoo we need to wash our lashes with lash shampoo with lash shampoo I have had a lot of clients say oh well I thought I could use a facial wash or I thought I could use you know this oil wash and it's like you know you're not supposed to be putting oils on your face anyways especially near your lashes so it is super important that you are using an eyelash extension shampoo and that you are not using anything else besides a shampoo to cleanse your lashes um, and as an artist, if you're stressing that importance of your clients to cleanse their lashes, you need to make sure you have lash shampoo on hand. Um, if not, maybe a brand that you, you, I mean, even if you aren't making your own, even if you want to go and buy a brand from someone and resell it that way. Um, but I feel like it's really, really easy to make your own lash shampoos if you're using, you know, obviously good products and finding out, um, what's in the products and if they work and stuff like that. Um, don't ever use baby shampoo to make lash shampoo. Um, that's a big no-no because the baby shampoo has a lot of oils in it. So you don't want to put a shampoo, you don't want to be using a product that has oil oil in it. You also want to make sure that your product is not does not burn or irritate your, your client's eyes and that um, it's a really good product and that they're satisfied with their lash bath. So um, and also the importance of cleansing your lashes is that if you aren't cleansing your lashes daily, you're going to experience faster lash extension fallout. And then you are also going to start experiencing some signs of blepharitis, which include itching, burning, swelling, the eye, your, your extensions start to irritate you. If your eyes are constantly watering and you're feeling like, you know, it's burning or anything like that, you could be having some, you know, leftover particles of dust, dirt, makeup, whatever it is that's, you know, irritating your eyes eyes. Um, so the first stage is blepharitis. If you are not cleansing your lashes, you will start to experience some of the symptoms that I was saying. Um, 
And then if you still avoid those symptoms and you continue to not cleanse your lashes or cleanse your face properly, then you're going to start to look, then you're going to start to get into the lash mite or lash lice phase. It is true. It is real. The same way we can get lice on our hair, the same way we can get lice on our lashes, it's a hair follicle as well. So if you are not cleansing and you are being dirty, then you're going to have, you're going to experience that. And that is not something that we want our clients to experience. At that point, your natural lashes are going to start to detach from the root. They're going to start to um, not grow in properly. You're going to have spaces, gaps, sparseness, and stuff like that. So we do not want that. That's why we stress the importance of cleansing your lash lashes with a lash shampoo cleanser. It is very, very essential to have lash shampoo kits available for your clients. And it's also a good way for you to make some extra money as well. Because if you don't have any lash kits available and your clients are like, well, I really need a lash kit and you're selling your lash kits for 25, you just lost $25 on the sale. And as we know in our beauty industry, our main service is not our money maker because we have to take away our, um, our cost for supplies, insurance, uh, Wi-Fi, whatever it is that you're paying for at your space. Um, so your extras, your lash bath kits, your color lashes, your additional add-on services are going to be where you get a lot of your extra money from. So you don't want to miss out on a $25 sale simply because you don't have lash shampoo available. So um, we're, I'm going to show y'all individually what you're going to need to make a lash bath kit. And um, like I said, if you have any questions or anything, then make sure to let me know. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and let's get into the video. Okay, so some things that we're going to need to make our lash shampoo is it going to be, of course, your actual lash shampoo. Then you're also going to need some distilled water. You want to make sure it's distilled. You don't want to use sink water, tap water. It'll mess up your lash shampoo. And then you're also going to want to make sure you have containers to put your shampoo in. Um, on my last shampoo bottle, it told me to make sure and... Um, so it says right here, uh, sorry, I can't find it. I can't find it where it was at. Um, but anyways, it said that if you are going to be making your own, then to rinse out your containers before you start making your shampoo. So I already did that. Um, and then you're going to want to make sure you have your lash brushes for your kits. Anytime you have a lash cleanser that you're selling, you need to have a brush. That way your clients can cleanse their lashes with. And then these are also some spoolies. Um, these are little special spoolies. They're, look how cute those are with the little lashes. So they have a tube that makes sure they stay safe and clean in your purse or your makeup bag, whatever you're deciding to throw it in. If you're like me, you have like a ton of these spoolies everywhere. They're either dirty or they have lint all over them. So having a container to kind of keep them clean is always super good. Um, like I said, I bought me a little kit off Amazon, so it came with 10 shampoos and then 10 brushes and then 10 of the little applicators as well. Um, and then you're also going to want to make sure you have a bag for everything. So I'm going to put these in these, um, I'm going to put my shampoos in these bags right here. And then you also want to do make sure that you have a aftercare card. Um, it saves you a lot from like not having to explain. I mean, obviously you need to explain to your clients what they need to do to take care of their lash extensions. But this also, because if you're explaining it to your clients and they are, you know, listening while you're doing their lashes, or even if you tell them afterwards, a lot of times they forget. So it's super important to have something that has, you know, aftercare instructions on what they should and shouldn't be doing. So it says, you know, the do's and the don'ts. That way they know what is required of them to enjoy their lash extensions and have healthy, clean lashes. So, um, so you have your bags, your lash extension, and you know, uh, the cool thing about these is these actually came with the, with the shampoo. So, um, that's super cool. Cause if not, I've always wanted to make my own, but I just haven't, I know there's like a way to, but anyways, I just haven't. Um, so yes, these are all you need. So your shampoo, distilled water, your bags, your aftercare cards and your, your spoolies and your cleanser brush and your cleanser bottle. Obviously, um, I am going to have a sticker on my bottle. Um, they're just not ready right now. So I don't have them right now, but as long as you have the basics of everything you need, you can definitely still sell a shampoo even without your logo or sticker or anything on it you can still have a shampoo available however you want a logo that way you can see it on your bottle and that way your clients know this is their eyelash extension foam and what is um on in there in their actual lash shampoo that way they know so okay let's get to making these bottles 
also guys it is super important um to have lash bands available for your clients um also too if you want to provide like an ultimate kit then you would want to have your fan available um also i mean but just keep some on hand that way if people want to purchase one they can and if not they don't have to um some people prefer to like use their blow dryer or maybe they already have like a little fan that they use for personal uses or whatever so um but it's really a really good way to make some extra money and then also have like a kit where if someone wants just a lash shampoo they can get a lash shampoo or if someone wants a fully loaded kit a uh, lash cleanser kit they can have everything they need and you're able to supply them with that that way they're not having to go to amazon not having to go to any other lash artist to grab the essentials that they need to cleanse their lashes so um having a lash fan in your kit is also another good way. So you should, I would recommend having kits that are just, you know, simple kits if they're just needing a lash shampoo and brush or a, a, a deluxe kit where they're needing lash shampoo, brush, a fan, extra spoolies, all that stuff. So yes, make sure and put a fan in some of your lash cleanser kits that you're gonna have available. So. Okay y'all, so I put my lash shampoo in here. So I'm gonna disperse it into my lash shampoo bottle. Um, you only wanna put about like, maybe like to right here on your bottle and the rest of the way you're gonna fill it up with water. Okay, so put your cleanser about like that much. And then you're gonna put your water for your other half of your solution and you don't want to fill it like all the way up but to the very you know um a good a good amount of the way because once you put your pump in there sometimes it's going to over overflow like just how it did so you don't want to put um too much water in there because it's going to do that see And then after you do that, you're gonna give it a really, really good shake. You should start to see the bubbles go up. And also to make sure and tell your clients that before, if they're using their cleanser, that they always need to shake it well. And that's why it's also good to have like your labels, um, like your either your, I mean, like your labels on your bottle. That way, cause we just forget sometimes as people how to do certain things even though we've been told how to do them so uh, always make sure you tell your clients that they're shaking their lash shampoo bottle really good to get everything mixing up and then you want to test it making sure it's good by pumping it on your hand and making sure that a good amount of foam and also making sure your bottle works too don't ever sell your client a bottle of shampoo if your nozzle doesn't work so and then you want it to come out a very thick um foamy consistency so and then if it does that then you are good Okay, and so you're going to fill, we're going to fill all of our bottles up. Okay, y'all, so as y'all can see, I filled up all my bottles. Um, they're all ready to go. Um, next thing we're gonna do is fill up our kit. And y'all, I filled this up with my cleanser and look how much cleanser I still have left. And I used one bottle of distilled water, not even, like I still have extra. I could still make like one more, two more shampoo bottles. So a little goes a long way. You don't have to use a lot. Um, so let's put our kits together and we will be done with our last shampoo kit. Okay y'all, so to make our lash kit, you are going to get your lash bag or if you are deciding to use a different container, you can 
put it in whatever you want to. Um, I'm going to use these little drawstring bags. I use them for my classes and they're always really cute to have and also after you take your lash bat, your lash kit out of it, you can also multi-use it for anything else. So, um, First thing we are going to put in is going to be our lash shampoo. We are going to put in our bag. And then you want to put your lash brush in. And then your actual cleanser brush. I always keep the plastic part on my cleanser brush uh, just because you want your clients to know that it's a new fresh brush. It hasn't been used or anything. And also too, if you take this off and you like leave the brushes sitting in a drawer or anything, like it can collect dust on it and get dirty on the tips. I have seen it happen. So I just like to keep the plastic bag on that way. They know that it's a new brush and hasn't been used. And then you are going to want to also put a lash extension um, aftercare card also in their bag. Um, these ones are a little big, so I'm gonna fold it in half. That way it's not protruding out of the bag. So I'm just gonna fold it like so and then slip it in the back of my lash kit bag. And then you are good to go. There's your lash kit. Okay, y'all, so these are my lash baskets. They are all ready to go. And that's all you need to make you a simple lash basket. I will leave all the information on product-wise in the description. And I hope y'all enjoy this video and are able to make y'all some good lash baskets for y'all's clients.